Hi Bruce from Safari, we're going to do a walkthrough on this uh, Jupiter. Now before we go through the products here, just to determine is this the right product for you. This is really built for the do-it-yourself person, it's a complete package, it comes with a certificate of compliance on the 240, so you could just take it up and pop it in. If you do want to put more uh, GPOs on the other side of the camp canopy, then you will need an electrician to come and install that and recertify uh, that. But the pack as it stands now with the double GPOs is certified, ready to install, ready to run. Now it's designed for a vehicle with an alternator, uh, can be from 100 amps up. We've got a 50 amp DC to DC in here. If you've got the typical 130, 150 amp alternator, then you could put two of these in, two of the Victrons, they'll run in parallel, they'll appear on the screen. Uh, you can see exactly the power coming in from the alternator and so that gives you the replenishment power. It doesn't matter in a way how big the battery is, what's far more important is that you've got enough replenishment power coming in to meet uh, the power that you're using. So the DC to DCs here are probably more important than the solar on the roof. Uh, this will take up the 400 watts of solar on the roof. My rough rule of thumb is you need at least uh, 200 watts to run a single fridge 400 watts for double fridges, and that will give you a sort of a long weekend, if you wish, um, with no driving, uh, a three-day weekend. But with the DC to DC here as a backup, then you can idle the car, and that will replenish the power. So we've also got in here the digital switching. The big advantage of that is it saves energy, as well as the convenience of all the switching that you'll see. It does actually save power when you uh, dim the lights on this, it actually uses less power. The digital switching on this with 10 channels we found suits most four-wheel drives. Even the big um, F350 that we did about four months ago with this exact setup uh, with the digital switching, we found it ran around 16 amps with all the lights on and suited just a single star light with the rubber keypad exactly as we've got here now. So this setup here would suit most four-wheel drives in what you're trying to do. Uh, we have inside here a, the biggest item first, the 2000 inverter charger. So this is both a charger at uh, 80 amps and an inverter at 2000 VA. Now 2000 VA is about 1600 watts, however, Victron and units will go 30% over for 30 minutes, so this unit will actually deliver a full 2000 watts for 30 minutes, uh, continuous. And then if you've got any break at all in that period of time, the counter restarts again and it will continue to deliver the power after that. So uh, it's a very robust unit uh, with a very heavy metal case here and it's designed to do auto cut over. So if you've got uh, 240 volts plugged in up here, uh, then if you pull the power in and out, this will auto switch over to the batteries. Totally uh, seamless under full power. The next item we have here is the new Orion uh, DC to DC, this is a 50 amp. Now just look at the size of it here, it's small, there's no fins behind, it's brand new technology, it's similar to a Scotty, it's got a high frequency planar transformer inside of it, incredibly efficient, very little heat, and unlike others it won't fade as it gets uh, hot, it will uh, just uh, continue to deliver a full 50 amps. Now, the beauty of these is they're on a data connection now coming up onto the screen. So we can have, as a standard feature in this case, two of these. So we've developed this frame that's on here to be extended and you can put another one on the top of this and uh, that will give you 100 amps DC to DC all inside this case. Underneath here we have a solar, smart solar MPPT controller and uh, it's uh, 30 amps which normally when you're charging means it'll handle a 400 watt uh, solar panel. Uh, this is the brains here, this is what Victron call their uh, turbo. Um, here on the side here is some CAN cabling because the keypad that we'll look at in a minute uh, is CAN and the star light uh, digital switching is also CAN. Uh, we've got a smart battery protect built in here and we've got a smart shunt down here. Options that now you can add to this is you can add this uh, temperature puck, it's a, a Ruby is the brand out of Finland. Uh, this will Bluetooth directly to the Turbo, appear on the screen, it'll also appear on your smartphone and if you connect this to the cloud uh, then you'll see this on your phone wherever you may be and uh, 10 days history 
is in, stored inside the puck, not in the foam. It's just uh, great technology. And then for the tanks on your uh, four-wheel drive, um, then this is our new uh, star tank that you can see here. We've done several videos on it. It's radar, it's not ultrasonic, goes above the tank. Um, and it's battery, wireless, Bluetooth, and it also goes directly to the turbo. And if you've got a jack off with a canopy that comes off and the tank's down in the chassis, this is perfect. It just sits down on top of the tank and uh, when you uh, put it on again, it'll auto connect to the turbo, no wires, uh, just uh, easy to implement. And that will become a standard feature with Victron uh, from the end of September. Uh, let's have a look at our digital switching here. This really uh, separates this kit from anything else in the market. It's digital switching. And this keypad, which is rubberized, as you can see, eight buttons, it's engravable, and it's backlit after it's engraved, uh, can activate the channels on the digital switching. Now, if you've got white and amber on your doors, for example, then pressing this button twice here will switch between white and amber. So eight buttons here will actually nicely operate uh, 10 channels. So that's uh, white and amber on one door, white and amber on the other, and then we've got a list here of uh, other lights that you could have. It could be a water pump, uh, for example, that you're switching. Uh, there can be, there's one of these on the front of the case, and you can have a second one, if you wish, on the driver's side, um, or you can do the wireless switching, which I'll show you in a minute. If you put it on the driver's side, it doesn't have to be the same. You can have a uh, different switching pattern on it, if you wish, or it could be exactly the same. It's entirely up to you. It's CAN-based, as you can see here. Uh, and it can actually be externally mounted. So this is totally uh, waterproof, IP67. It can go outside, it can go right on the back. So you could actually have your switching um, external behind the cab, for example, anywhere you want. You just have to run the CAN connector, four pin connector uh, to this uh, keypad and it comes in through the back of the case. Now let's look at the wireless. For a lot of people, the wireless is going to be an easier solution. And so that's the uh, wireless four button switch, again custom engravable, and it's a round hole there, it's a 60 millimeter round hole, so you just need a hole saw, cut in on the driver's side, uh, put that in for wireless, and these buttons can be configured to any of the channels, and again, a double press on this button here will switch between white and amber. So those four buttons there, uh, one button will do two channels, white and amber, white and amber, and then you've got two more. Now, the big advantage of this is if you've got a rear light on the back of your canopy, you can take this into the front of the vehicle and switch the rear light, uh, work lights on the side uh, at night when you're reversing or going into a camp. So you can control all that from inside the cab. Yeah. So there is a mounting block here. I just put it inside of that. That mounting block can go into the wall, but uh, in that form there, you can just store that in the front of the cab uh, in the glove box or in the centre console. You can also have it up in the rooftop tent. So if you've got it up there from the rooftop tent, you can control any of the lights on your canopy in this kit from this wireless switch. Now the other wireless switch we've got is this very flat one here, perfect for a sun visor mount, inexpensive, it retails for $88. Uh, works exactly like the others, one button, double press will change the colour. Uh, so that can be up on your sun visor, that can do the rear light, uh, you can do the side lights, work lights, you can do rock lights, all from inside the cab, wireless, no installation. So let's turn this around and have a look at the front panel here. And we'll just step through uh, what we have here. So we've got the Starlight at the top, 10 channel digital switch. We've got a 16 amp power inlet here. So this is for charging uh, from uh, the home or uh, even from a generator if you wish. Uh, we've got the 5 inch touch screen here, we're going to look at this a bit more closely, I've got it in dark mode here. Uh, we've got, and got the 8 button switch here, uh, we've got the GPO here, and the middle switch on this GPO turns the inverter on and off. So just to make it very, very simple, when you want the inverter you turn that on, when you want, don't want it you turn it off. Uh, it's a double GPO, they're 10 amps. Uh, then we've got uh, USB type A, USB type C, and a SIG outlet here. Uh, then below that are the breaker switches, and this one here is 50 amps for a compressor or something around 50 amps. And then we've got a 20 amp for fridges. You can actually run up to three fridges on that, or two or one in a travel buddy oven running all the time. And then the last one here is running the Starlight. Now all the wires coming out from the Starlight 
don't need to be fused. All the cables going out, all the positive cables going out, do not need to be fused because starlights are fuseless. If you're doing some negative switching, which you can do, and dimming on, on LEDs, then the positive wire at the top, then the positive wire going out connects onto the Wago at the back here, and it's also fused off this breaker as well. So in putting this kit in, the only fuse you need is a mega fuse um, actually on the battery itself. Now let's have a look at the new Victron dark screen. I just love this. So you can see that's the general overview. And if I touch the screen here and the top right here, I now get the details. So now you can see the alternator here, which is coming out of the new uh, DC to DC. So we've got solar at the top, we've got alternator, we've got AC loads and DC loads. So that would show fridges, that would show the induction running, that's the alternator coming in, and the solar. So you get all the detail on that. You can go to the traditional Victron overview display that you can see here. And in the overview display, the battery's in the center here. And then we've got the DC loads out here and the power coming in here. So there's the alternator, there's the solar, and there's the DC going out, AC going um, out at the top up there, and any power uh, coming in. Now, if we have a look at uh, tank levels on here, or levels on here, um, I've put the Ruby Puck on here for the fridge that you can see there, the temperature, and you see the humidity as well. If we had the uh, star tank connected, which I haven't got connected at the moment, uh, then you would see on the tanks here, you would see the tank levels as well. Uh, the notifications here are any alarms, no battery because I turned it off. And now have a look at the detailed display here, shows on the device list the devices that we have connected here and uh, all the settings uh, on the setup all appear below there. So it's a very simple, clean display now and how good is that?